Hello there. Good day. This is a model of an airplane engine, recently designed by Jonathan Stewart Bart. The objective of the design is to model an aircraft engine with the fewest moving parts. He came up with this two-stroke air-cooled engine, with only two exhaust valve on each side, that would be gear-driven, and rotates at the same speed as the crankshaft. Total moving parts are only six pistons, six connecting rod, one crankshaft, two rotary valves and ten combination of ball and roller bearings. The six intake reed valves may also be taken into account, even if it only flexes a bit to let air and gas mixture into the gas chamber. A total of only 31 moving parts at high speed. As you can see, the piston moves down and compresses the air inside the gas chamber. As it moves further down, this will expose an opening by the side of the cylinder, and allow the gas mixture into the combustion chamber. On the next cycle the piston pushes the gas and air mixture, up to the cylinder head, and compresses it, in time to be fired by the spark plug. As the piston goes down, gases inside the combustion chamber will expand and push the piston down once more. As the piston goes three quarters down, the rotary exhaust valve will open to let the gases out. Before the piston reaches the intake opening below, the exhaust rotary valve will close. Then the piston passes the intake opening, to let air and gas mixture into the combustion chamber once more. Then the two-stroke cycle repeats itself. The six pistons are distributed 120 degrees apart. Therefore two spark plug fire every 120 degrees of arc, or six times in one revolution. This engine does not require an oil pump thus lesser weight. However, the oil is mixed with the gas inside the gas chamber and the vapor lubricates the bearings at each end, including the journal bearings in between. The exhaust port has its own lubricated bearings which are sealed. The exhaust valves has no dire contact with the cylinder head. The only friction occurs is on the exhaust bearings which consist of two per cylinder. There is very minimal maintenance on the engine, and since the moving parts are few it can run indefinitely, with a continuous supply of fuel and oil mixture. The only wear will occur between the piston rings and the cylinder sleeve. The sleeve is made of stainless steel, which was borrowed from a diesel engine. As we all know, diesel engines are designed to run until eternity with minimal maintenance. For this engine, as long as we don't run out of fuel, it will continue to soar the skies. In the next video, we will be designing another engine just like this. I will take you step by step in designing this type of engine in Autodesk Inventor 2016. Our objective is to have the parts machined on a CNC. In the 2016 version, we have HSM works to create and simulate the G codes or NC codes for that particular part. In this way, we will be able to machine the engine by using the G codes. Your local CNC machine shop will be able to help you in this matter. The files for this GAD engine model will be uploaded at my GrabCAD account. But please, don't forget to like on my page. However, it would be best if you create the model side by side with me, including the NC codes or G codes and toolpath simulation. I will be doing more videos in Autodesk Inventor and SolidWorks 2016. This is Jonathan's avatar voice saying thank you for watching this video. Special mention to Rainier Philip Daos for the CNC, engineer Sunny Harley Harley for mentoring and inspiring me in the field of electromechanical and electronics. Have a great day ahead. See you again on the next video.